Caesar, <clears throat> it's been an honor to work with you for the past 30 years, 32. You've always demonstrated, you've always demonstrated class, professionalism, and above all, a gentleman. Everyone's here for you. Officers wanted me to present this to you. I have no words to say thank you to everyone. I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone. And definitely my second MPD family. Thank you. God bless everybody. This is our fly, folks. Be proud of it. And please stay strong. Got those things for a reason. I haven't finished yet. It's allowed to be done in our community, our apartment. But I've been blessed. I've been blessed by Lander. It's such a great apartment that I worked for over 30 years. It's such a beautiful community. And we all did it together, not just from yours. No. This is every one of you. We still a lot, a lot more to do. I do believe that God does things for a reason. And this is another reason, another test in my life. This new endeavor, we're all together. We're pleasant, great players, and great support. We all overcome. God bless America. God bless our city. Stay strong. Focus on your family and your health. Do the right thing without expecting anything in return. And please respect each other as you would like to be respected. God is love, God is great, and God is... He's going to heal me. We're going to see each other. Yeah. Mr. Burgess. Yeah. Thank you, Chief. You know, standing here became very clear to me that 
the strongest one amongst us, amongst us is Caesar. What grace, what courage, and the way you lived your life, you're an inspiration to us all. I have a proclamation that I wanted to read. Uh, I, I know I'm not going to get through it. Uh, we'll have it at St. Anne's so everybody can read it. But I will read the last part for this very special police officer, this very special human being, a very good friend to all of us, a person who said, live your life and give without expecting anything in return. So now, whereas Cesar Ramirez always seeks to find the good in people, even in situations where he was enforcing the law, he respects others regardless of their circumstances in life. He is a tremendously passionate, a good man, and a great police officer. Now therefore, I, Harry W. Rilling, Mayor of the City of Norwalk, Connecticut, do hereby proclaim December 13th, 2019, as Cesar Ramirez Day in Norwalk, and in doing so, call upon family and friends to join me in celebrating, recognizing, and honoring him for his volunteering, his professional expertise, and knowledge serving our community. And I might add, And the last thing that I would ask us all to do is to pray for Caesar and his family. As I said, pray for a healing, pray for his health, and thank him so much for all that he has done. And, and every now and then, I'm not finished yet, every now and then, Every now and then you run across a person who has done so much and has become so widely known in the city that a special tribute or a special honor is in, is in order. And Caesar, I present to you one of the very, very few people to ever receive this, the key to the city of Norwalk. It is truly something that you have earned. So I have a, um, a proclamation, a citation, I'm sorry, uh, introduced by myself and the uh, legislative delegation from Norwalk, and it says, Be it hereby known to all that the Connecticut General Assembly offers its sincerest congratulations to Officer Cesar Ramirez in recognition of your 32 years of dedicated service to the citizens of the city of Norwalk. For over uh, three decades, you have been uh, an instantly recognizable face at any public function within the city. We are deeply grateful to have had you as a part of the Norwalk Police Department. The entire membership extends its, extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued success given this 13th day of December 2019, signed by our Senate President, our Speaker of the House, and our Secretary of the State in our small, small way of saying thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you've done and your family and your fam beautiful family is here and we appreciate uh, you and we just look forward to everything in the future with you and for you and appreciate uh, your work here in our city. Thank you so much. I respect for every one of you and whatever, whatever has been done, folks, we all did together. And we haven't finished yet. God willing, God willing, our mission continues. And I know that God does since the reason. This is a temporary endeavor that I have to learn how to navigate. And I'm learning. Be optimistic. And I will overcome this new test in my life. I always believe that God does things for a reason. And obviously I didn't want to listen to my family before. Now I have to. <laughs> <laughs> But I love the job that I do. I love it. Just to serve our community for those in need. Just to say hello to a homeless in the morning and a beautiful child on the street. 
It is Fox. You, our community, have become my second family on a single day, daily basis. And definitely, I highly respect my family for all the hard time. You know, being an officer is kind of rough. And not easy. But God is love. God is grace. And God is cure. I don't work, I don't care what the signs are saying. But God has the last word. The only thing I ask you, please, again, <coughs> let's care of each other. Respect each other as you would like to be respected. Do anything without expecting anything in return. And God is good, God is love, God is grace, and God is cure. I do respect science, but I highly respect, and the last word is God. Believe is another test in my life, and I will overcome. It's a new endeavor that I have to learn how to navigate it, but I'm learning. I'm not going to be seeing and feel sorry about it. No, why me? Just remember. The reason why God gave you a test is to be stronger and more faith and believe in yourself and believe in the people you help. I love my job, folks. This is the only one thing that I'm going to really, it, it is, I cannot tell you for the deep, I mean, how much I'm going to miss. And I was blessed, I'm going to repeat it myself. I was blessed to land in this beautiful, great department. The department that I work, the city that I work, the people that I serve. It is such a beautiful thing to see, you know. And you miss one, two weeks, next thing you go back to work. Fail the promise that I'm going to retire. <laughs> and see a homeless with a child and say, Dan Ramirez, where have you been? We're missing you, brother. That's a beauty, something that has no price. Whatever you do, like I said, do it without expecting anything in return. I know what you do. Care for each other. I respect each other, please. Amen. God bless America. God bless America. Thank you.